You see sizzling sound. Okay. Then turn. Hello everyone. My name is Keiko. I'm a cooking instructor. In my 20s and 30s, I used to live in Italy. During my stay there, I was invited by many Italian friends and enjoyed delicious homemade meals. Then I realized that spending time with a shared meal was a good cultural experience. Those experiences enriched a lot my life. So now I've been teaching Japanese cooking to international visitors near Tokyo. I'd like to share with you our culture and spirit through cooking. I always think that delicious food makes us happy. I would like to share with you my happy food. One is my grandma's sushi, which is called Oshi Zushi. It's pressed by an exclusive wooden mold with rice and some cooked vegetables. And another one is Edamame al aglio olio e peperoncino, which is stir fried green soybeans with oil, garlic, and red chili pepper. Let's get started! First of all, let's cut the mushroom. And bite size. And place in a small pan. Then take a carrot and peel. Cut in strip. Let's season some soy sauce, mirin, and sake, and sugar also. Turn on the heat. Then salt. Spread some oil. Spread the oil. You see, sizzling sand means that the means that the the fry pan is hot enough. And turn over. The omelette, you see, is completely cooked. Okay, I recommend you to use wooden bowl if you have it. Because the moisture of sushi rice is re remain to keep moisture. Okay, here I add Sushi vinegar. If you don't have it, just use vinegar and sugar and salt. Spread it. Top of the rice. Mix it well until the rice is still hot. I add some fillings. Here, 
here. Please taste it. Please try to taste it. Let's cut to it. Same omelet. Cut the garlic. Oil, whichever you like. Then place the garlic into the pan. Just stir fry. Very simple, but it's very tasty. Green soybean is ready. Bottom part turn to the top. So you must think about the design of the of the bottom part. This is very important. Okay. I put egg. The first egg. Then place a little bit of rice, not too much. Place it evenly. Hold with a plastic film. If you use a spoon, it's very useful. Bless it. Don't, but don't smash the rice. Okay, now we use the another plate. Bless and turn. Place, turn again, press, okay, oh, after you press well, remove the plate and then cut, let's cut. At the bottom, this time don't press, hold, and then remove the body. Okay. Then turn. You see, this is um pressed sushi. We have five pieces let's remove the plastic film not that great I like a pretty color so um, white and orange Oh, I said okra. Okra to pena. And Benny Shoga, a pickle to red ginger. It's a good accent. Eda mame? And the sauce on top of it. Oh, it's very, very, very. Cucumber and the pic pickled lit ginger.
Okay, your plate is ready. See you soon.